up YouTube, Topaz Jakes back for another daily review and this one is to that Migos featuring Young Thug and Lil Duke, that clientele and I'm giving this one the good light because honestly I'm not a big fan of any bit of this but I do understand that this will probably be huge because they're working on a project together, Migos and Young Thug called Migos Thuggin and I feel as though this could be really hot on the streets man because they're giving the streets what they want. This is just like the whole Mayweather versus Pacquiao back then. Like the people wanted that fight so badly that it was eventually going to happen. Like it took much longer than what people thought it would but yet it definitely happened man because all of the money was there. And I believe all of the money is going to be there for this collaboration project and all of the notoriety is going to be right there. People are going to pump this especially in Atlanta and you know Whatever happens in Atlanta, that's going to spread out to a whole lot of places, like especially here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Everything that happens in Atlanta is popping here. And people are going to rock with it, and this project is going to be big. And you can tell they're definitely going all out here, man, as this production is a collaboration between Metro Boomin and Zay Tobin, which they've collaborated before in the past, but yet these are like the heavy hitters of today's day and age of trap music that they got going down there, man. So they're spilling no expense and they're trying to do this on the level in which people perceive it that it needs to be. Just to me, that production just feels more of the same. It's not anything unique, different, or even hotter than some of the previous stuff that they've done. And when you break down the concept of the song, it's very, very basic. It's ultimately just a bunch of trap balls as everybody's going in a separate direction as they're just talking about drug stuff. As Takeoff's lyrics is probably the best way to foresee that as he's really just more focused on his flow than anything. There's really no core punchlines or anything within there and he's just talking about just trap balls. Just everything that happens in the trap lifestyle that people are promoting like that in the game. While Quavo had a quick moment up in here saying how he's on the block like Orlando Pace who is a ex offensive lineman, I do believe, who played for St. Louis Rams, which that was kind of cool because when you're saying on the block, it's like you're slaying drugs and stuff. That was pretty cool. And also how he's shouting out Free Offset, who did get locked up for some stuff that I'm sure you guys have all heard about. But honestly, Lil Duke is the most lyrical of all of the people who are on him. But his lyrics ain't even all of that, man, where he's saying that his diamonds are so rocky, like he's part of ASAP, which is an obvious shout out to ASAP Rocky. I mean, it's an attempt at a punchline but it falls flat on every level and how he's saying that his rollie is so flooded with diamonds that he can't even tell the time which I see what he's talking about there where you know the reason why you should get a watch is to tell the time but yet Everybody's not doing that. It's more of a fashion statement and he's saying he got so many diamonds in it He doesn't even care about the time. It's more of just he's stunning out here Which these are interesting balls here probably the best of this entire song But that's really not saying much when you're on a song with a guy like Young Thug and the Migos And when you break down the Young Thug bus, the only thing that he said of interest in there is saying how his house is so big that he had to map it out Pretty much saying that his house is like a mansion and you'll get lost within it. And you know, that's cool. See what he tried to do there, but yet it's not potent punchline, potent material at all. And that's something that I'm somewhat expecting out of this upcoming project between them because none of them are really that great lyrically. They're not really that great artists, but yet they're notable. So it's going to hit no matter what they do, but yet I'm not projecting it to be that good. It's going to be of this level right here that I'm really not rocking with. But a quick recap here, man, the pauses that I'm taking from this is the fact that I know it's going to work. They're giving the people what they want. They're going to find success with this project right here. The negatives is it's not a good song, man, and honestly, I don't feel as though this project is going to be that good either. But this concludes today's review, man, and now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Force One before we take some of your questions. <laughs> bunch of people have been saying man is that that Vic Mensa album was better than a lot of people perceive because he was doing a bunch of singing on there and the people really don't want to give him much credit for the singing so he was kind of stepping out of his comfort zone but yet he did it pretty decent he still needs to polish that up but me personally I'm not giving him any credit for singing when he's not a singer when he's really not that talented with it like here's something like Kanye West did when he came up in the game like
Like he surrounded himself with talented singers like John Legend who did all of the background vocals so he could go ahead and sound like he could do a little something of singing. And that's something that all of these dudes need to do. That way you get much more substance and the audio just comes off sounding much better than you did. And you can actually do more with it. But yet, in this day and age, people who can't sing is going to try to sing anyway. And people just going to let it rock. Because, quite honestly, the people just don't have a good ear for music anymore. People are just allowing people to get away with anything. It's more about, okay, this guy's popular, so whatever he says just goes. Whatever he does is genius. It's not about, okay, they can do much better. I'm going to criticize that. Like, it's the type of game that we're in right now. So I'm not giving him any props for what he did, but I do understand how people are going to go along with it. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.